Yes guys, what's going on? It's Dan here from Table Tennis Daily. In this video, we're gonna take a look at the top five best rubbers released in the last year or so. There's a lot of top contenders out there. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at the top five. Also, you know, we've got a lot coming out right now. In the next year, we're probably gonna see color rubbers in Table Tennis. Here's a purple one, for example. But for now, let's take a look at the top five. All right then, so number five, here it is, DNA Pro by Steger. Now for me, this is an absolute game changer for Steger. Over the last 10 years or so, they've been renowned for their blades, excellent quality blades. However, their rubbers haven't matched to that quality, if I'm gonna be honest. They've, they've got good rubbers out there in terms of, for a certain particular style, like the Genesis, good spin, good control, but they never really had a rubber that packed a lot of speed and punch. And this is what the DNA brings. It's the first time they've actually gone into investing into German-based rubber. So the DNA Pro really is a good move, I feel, for Steger. And it's put them right up there now in terms of rubbers. So this comes in three versions, soft, medium, and hard. This is the hard version here, which is 50 degrees sponge. And a good rubber, it's got lots of control. You know, it's not as spinny as the Tenergy 5 or as fast as an MXP, but it does give you lots of control and it's fast, it is quick. It's good enough speed to uh, win you the points and be controlled in the rally. And uh, yeah, like I said, it's gonna be very interesting to see where Steger go with this rubber. I think it's got a lot of potential. And yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see what effects Steger have on the rubber market. So yeah, that's number five, a good rubber indeed. And uh, yeah, very solid from Steger in 2019. Okay, so coming in at number four, very close call between these two, I've gotta say, is the Rosanta R53. Now, this is an interesting rubber. The Rosanta has been out for a long time now. It's got a few different sponge hardnesses and Andrew have really pushed it. But now bringing out a 53 degree sponge hardness, which is what the 53 stands for in the R53, is a harder sponge and of course designed for the plastic ball. It's faster, so it means it rebounds quickly off the bat. What I find with these hard sponges is when you're playing, even though it comes off so quickly, there is good feeling there, so it's very easy to block with. I think sometimes with soft rubbers with the plastic ball, it can get a bit mushy. With the hard rubbers, you, you straight away get that rebound effect and really can feel the ball. For me, this comes in at number four, a good solid rubber. And again, Andro trying to set a new trend. There's not many companies right now bringing out 53 degree sponge hardness, especially from a German based rubber. So the Rosanta R53 comes in at number four. Now we're into the top three and in at number three is the T-Bar Evolution MXP Hard. Now, like similar with the Rosanta, the Evolution series has been out for a very long time and T-Bar really stuck by this, especially with the MXP, it's a very strong solid rubber. Now, the MXP Hard, an interesting one, it comes in at 50 degree sponge, but it is quick, it's rapid. It almost feels like an Evolution MXP on steroids. This thing really is a beast. Now we say this a lot in our reviews that the rubbers are not designed for beginners. Obviously we're reviewing generally high-end rubbers, but this one really isn't because it's a beast. It's very quick. And again, it's just showing the trend of 2019 really of harder rubbers. So this is coming in at 50 degrees, the MXP being 47.5 degrees. Also what I find interesting with this hard rubber is it does feel quite a bit different to MXP. MXP, when you contact the ball, you can feel a bit more gears, you can feel softness to it. There's a bit more forgiveness, whereas with this hard, it literally comes flying off the bat very quickly. But yeah, for, for me, it comes in at number three. And uh, yeah, so there we go. We've got the DNA, Rosanta at number four, Evolution MXP hard at number three, and here is number two. Now it goes to Butterfly 10 g 5 hard. Now this thing really set a trend for hard rubbers. It came out last year in November 2018, and What's interesting with the Tenergy 5 hard is it's the first time Butterfly have really tampered with Tenergy 5. Obviously Tenergy 5 being a super popular rubber, one of the most popular rubbers of all time. And Butterfly bringing out the hard version really is something interesting and caused a lot of interest amongst the online community. There's not massive amounts of difference to Tenergy 5. It does feel harder when you play with it and you have to put a bit more effort in. But when you put in that more effort and more quality, you get more spin out of your shot, which is a good thing with Tenergy 5 hard. Also good for the counter top spins, just grips the ball well. And yeah, again, Butterfly bringing out a hard rubber like these rubbers have done here. So another hard rubber and adding to the trend that we're seeing. So that's number two. Number one out of the top five, is Dignix 05 by Butterfly. 
Now this caused a lot of stir in the table tennis community. And I think one of the first reasons being is that this is the first time in, a, in over 10 years since Butterfly bought out a flagship high-end rubber series. You know, for example, the Tenny G05 has been out for a long time and been so dominant. Butterfly really played with that, the Tenny G05, the Tenny G80, but bringing out the Dignix really was a game changer and caused a lot of talk online and around the table tennis world. One of the reasons also is its price. It came out at 80 euros, so people straight away were like, wow, how good is this thing? 80 euros, is it better than Tenny G05? So there's all sorts of talk going on and um, I've been using it now for a while, really trying to knuckle down and see what it's like. And for me, the Dignix 05, I mean, it's hard to compare it directly to Tenny G05. One thing I will say is it does have the same feeling and properties of Tenny G05, that uniqueness you get, that sort of spring sponge feel. But what it does give you is a bit more time on the bat and more grip and spin for sure. And I know a lot of players use it on the backhand for that reason. And it's really good for counter top spin in that department. So when you hit with a Dignix, you can feel the ball a bit longer and then it shoots off and you're getting more grip and spin. For me, Tenet Geo 5, it's still almost easier to get that fast shot when you're playing the same speed of a shot. But a Dignix is, is giving you a higher quality when you really max out on it. Now also, Butterfly talk about the durability. Yes, the Dignix does last a long time. I think that's one of the biggest selling points to the Butterfly equipment as a whole is the durability. It maintains the grip for a long time. So yeah, guys, Dignix 05 coming in at number one in 2019. And also Dignix comes in two other variations, the 80 and 64. And the 80, which we reviewed recently, I feel could be even better than Dignix 05. So be sure to check out that video in the links below. But yeah, guys, all these rubbers as a whole really are game changers in their own way, especially Steger here with the DNA coming in. It's really gonna help them. It's gonna be interesting to see how, yet yeah, Andro plays with the Rosanta, Evolution MXP hard. And of course here, the Dignix, a whole new complete series with Butterfly. So a lot going on. Like I said, next year, we're probably gonna start seeing different colored rubbers. And I have heard actually that we probably won't be seeing that until after the Tokyo Olympics. Yeah, a lot going on. And uh, yeah, guys, these are the top five of my pick. So let me know in the comments below, what are your top five rubbers in 2019? Look forward to getting back to you in the comments. For now, guys, be sure to like this video and subscribe. Thanks for watching.